In less than two weeks, the Trudeau government will be unveiling its budget, and Canada's housing crisis is certainly going to be a major focus. Our Parliament Hill reporter Glenn McGregor joins us now. And Glenn, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is busy crisscrossing the country, giving us a sneak peek at his spending plans. And what was the focus of his announcement in Winnipeg today? Yeah, the Prime Minister's been making a lot of these multi-billion dollar announcements over the past couple of weeks, mostly aimed at increasing the supply of housing. And today he focused on affordable housing, trying to address the declining number of rentals available for people who are at middle or lower income levels. So Trudeau is pledging $1.5 billion, it's a combination of loans and contributions to nonprofits and municipalities, trying to protect the supply, uh, the existing supply of affordable living spaces and to uh, hopefully build some new ones. The big question though is whether that's enough money to really make a difference. Right now, Canada is losing about four affordable housing units for every one that it's gaining. So it's kind of an uphill battle and it's probably going to take a lot more money to solve, Cynthia, down the road. Now, Glenn, we know the federal Liberals have been struggling in the polls compared to the Conservative Party. Is this his way of trying to woo voters back? Yeah, absolutely. The Liberals are really concerned about eroding support among younger people, millennials, Gen Zs, people who would have supported the Liberals in past elections. This time around, because of their frustration about housing, too expensive for them to buy their own homes, very expensive to rent their homes in a lot of the big cities. And the big question is, where's all the money coming from? Yeah, uh, that is a big question. Uh, the City News asked the Prime Minister about that today in Winnipeg. How is he going to pay for all these new programs? Is he going to increase taxes? Is he going to cut other programs? Or is he just going to run up the federal deficit even further? All he would say that his government is not going to increase taxes on the middle class. Does that mean more taxes for higher income earners? Maybe windfall taxes on, say, grocery chains or other corporations that have been making big profits over the last couple of years? We'll see when the budget's tabled, Cynthia, on April 16th. Glenn McGregor from Ottawa, thanks very much.